the head. Definitely a layered puncher. Body shot there from Oleg Shajic. Look at that head movement. It's very slick. It's because he doesn't try to move on the attack. It's constantly moving, Joe. So it's just a continuation of the bob and side to side. If his head is steady and it's just still and he tries to move, sometimes you're a tad bit too late. But because his head is always moving side to side, he just continues it as Bukowski throws a strike. I'm loving Oleg Sajic's corner, screaming out in Polish at him. <laughs> <laughs> right after tonight's main event, don't miss a recap of all the action on the UFC 260 post show on ESPN Plus. Chael Sonnen and Michael Bisping join Michael Leaves for all the reaction and analysis from UFC 260. It's only on ESPN Plus. Big connection there from Oleg Shajic. And here's the issue with the pressure, right? When the judges are watching, they see one guy skirting along the outside of the octagon the entire time, and one guy just pressuring. And that's not a great visual if you're Bukowskis. You've got to find a way to stand your ground a little bit. And there's a way, that front kick to the body. Again, I'd like to see him try to utilize those kicks on the outside more. Takes a lot of energy, though. Compared to his UFC debut, though, Bukowskis looks, or, I'm sorry, second UFC fight against Jimmy Crute. And obviously, Oleg Shajic isn't Jimmy Crute. Bukowskis' cardio looks a lot better in round two than it did towards the end of round one in the Crute fight. So he has corrected some of the issues that he was having before. Yeah, his pacing is certainly better. And this is a great fight to gauge that, too because Oleg Sejic is so aggressive. Yep. You're not fighting at a leisurely pace with Oleg Sejic. Oleg Sejic's in your face. He's making you work the entire time. And even if he's not hitting you, you constantly feel under duress. You're constantly yes. on the defensive because he's right in your face. Body shot there from Oleg Sejic, but Bukowskis mixing things up pretty well on the feet here late in the round. Yes, he is. He's doing a good job. He started to find his groove a little bit as the round went on. As long as his attacks aren't reactionary, every attack can't be reactionary if you're Bukowskis. You've got to go first at times and shorten up those strikes instead of missing so big. Nifty little lead elbow there from Bukowskis, but Oleg Shejuk is able to... Oh, oh. A couple of real good punches. There you go. There Bukowskis goes. That is how you get respect, Big right there. Close to the round for Bukowskis. Oleg Sajek is just so constant. But he's been meeting it mostly with punches. Man, what pressure it is, though. <laughs> it is insane pressure, just to be right in your face. Now, Modestus has done a good job of countering. And when he stops, when he stands firm, he lands real good shots. I think that's a shot that we're missing a little bit from Oleg Shajic, though. He throws that straight left right to the chest, and he has landed on multiple occasions. Judge is not privy to the numbers, but significant strike advantage for a nice right hook. But he's been on the receiving in a few of these. Oh, nice right hand by Mikowski. Very nice. Caught him coming in. Clean. Head. I wonder how much he knows, because he's still in trouble here. That's a liver shot. Oh, my. you saw him wince right away as it landed. Great poker face by Modestus, though. Yes. And he's back. Oh. Final 10 seconds oh, of what has kick. been an absolute light heavyweight war down the stretch.